At this point, what genre is Avenged Sevenfold? I don't even know. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Molly and in this video I'm going to be listening to the self-titled album from the band Avenged Sevenfold. Now Avenged Sevenfold has definitely been recommended a lot in the comments and I would say this seems to be the most requested album that I check out. This is the band's fourth studio album that they released in 2007 and yeah I have no clue what Avenged Sevenfold is going to sound like. As far as I know I've never heard any of their music before so I am very excited to check out their self-titled album and just see what I'm going to think of it. Alright so starting this album off is track one which is called Critical Acclaim. Right, interesting start with that organ going on. Dang, this is just so explosive. I love it. There's something about these vocals that sound really nasally almost. There's definitely a new metal-esque style to this music. On these verses, it's almost like a sort of borderline rap or hip-hop sort of vocal delivery going on. There's a very precise sound to the guitar here. Well, that was track one, Critical Acclaim. Quite the introduction to Avenged Sevenfold's music, that's for sure. I really, really loved how it started with that organ, very minimalistic, and then they just brought in all of that intensity. And certainly a blend of a lot of different styles. At times, it kind of reminded me a tiny bit of like Slipknot a little bit with more of that intensity and sort of a new metal sound. But they were bringing a lot of theatrics to their sound as well, something kind of almost Broadway-esque about the style of that song. But I guess I'm gonna move on now to track two, which is called Almost Easy. I like how they were infusing on that piano at the start of this one. His voice is somehow really raspy sounding and yet the way he's delivering these vocals there's a very smooth clean quality to it. All right we got some electric guitar coming in now. I still can't tell if there's a second vocalist. If it's one singer, he's definitely changing up his voice a lot, like his vocal style. Well, that was track two, Almost Easy. Surprisingly pretty melodic, especially there toward the end. There was a really smooth, almost soft quality to that song at times. And they had that chorus of singers sometimes come in behind the lead singer's vocals, like that, and then the piano that they infused on from time to time too. Just something kind of, like I said, melodic about that track. Moving on to track three, we have Scream. Appropriate start to that one. Ooh, I loved that bass just there. I 
I like how he's kind of drawing his vocal delivery out on this one, on certain words. They're doing a lot of cool percussive stuff on this one, I keep noticing. Again, just a lot of different sounds going on. That part right there just really reminded me of Muse a lot. And then we got some like ambient stuff going on at the end here. Well, that was track three, Scream. I think that's my favorite one so far. I just loved all of the variety of sounds on it. I'm picking up on parts that remind me a lot of Slipknot, like at moments the percussion and even the vocals a bit kind of remind me of that, just more of a new metal style. But then they'll bring in those amazing electric guitar solos, which kind of remind me of something more in line with like what Metallica does with their music. But then there's sort of a theatricality to it all and more of a traditional rock style. I don't know, they're just blending all of that, it seems. But moving on now to track four, we have Afterlife. All right, I love the cello here at the start. Right, this song definitely got a little bit more reined in here on the chorus, or just more smoothed out sounding. Yeah, this chorus comes in and it's just really almost floaty sounding. Like it's very calming almost. love these stringed instruments that they're fusing on. They weirdly suit like the guitars and the more metal sounds of this song. They just balance it out really beautifully. track four, Afterlife. My favorite part of that song was the infusion of those stringed instruments. Just a really gorgeous song, actually. Again, something very melodic about it, a bit symphonic at points. The verses definitely brought a little bit more heaviness, though, and just like a quicker delivery, or more punchy, I guess is how I would describe it. And they just kept going back and forth on those two sounds. It was quite a contrast going on, but I kind of like how they were changing it up so much. All right, up next is track five, which is called Gunslinger. Yeah, you've been alone. All right, they've got a strong country twang going on with this one. Heart's always with you now. Coming on to you. Yeah. Again, there's such a smooth delivery on this track. It's just got such a clean sound to it. I'm coming on to you. 
Well, that was track five, Gunslinger. With a title like that, I didn't really know what I was in for. The acoustic beginning definitely threw me with the whole country twang they had going on. And just when I was kind of expecting that track to stay that way through the whole song, they brought in that amazing punch of energy, which I absolutely loved. I kind of like how they changed the uh, style of that song. But I'm gonna move on to track six, which is called Unbound the Wild Ride. Love that piano. The way they're delivering the drums, it is almost like you're galloping along on a horse or something. It's just got such a quick quality to it. It's like those guitars are so heavy and dense, they just pull you down. And then that piano comes in and it just totally lightens things up. It's a really, really fun dynamic. What is this percussion? It's got a really funky sound. This almost sounds like a child singing. There's just something very young about the sound of this voice. Well, that was track six, Unbound the Wild Ride. I thought it was appropriate how it ended there with that heartbeat sound, and it was talking about just the progression of time, like from birth to death and the journey you take through life. Just lyrically, it makes sense to have that heartbeat at the end, kind of reminding you of your mortality. But sonically, that song was definitely a wild ride, that's for sure. Just very quick and speedy with its delivery, but I loved the infusion of the piano and the percussion too, like the drums, they were just doing some different stuff with them, a lot of different styles going on. Up next is track seven, which is called Brompton Cocktail. There was something kind of creepy about the beginning there, and that percussion too was definitely different. Yeah, there's definitely some distortions they're implementing on the vocals here. Yeah, they're bringing a lot of intensity on this one. That was track seven, Brompton Cocktail. Such a fun track. The beginning and the end there with those drums just threw me so much. Such a different sound for this album. Again though, they are keeping it very smooth. Even though there's an intensity to their music, it's very clean sounding and there's weirdly like no harshness to it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm gonna move on to track eight, which is called Lost. That is some speedy guitar going on. There's like some strong auto tune they're using on this one. Loving the instrumentals though, they're so quick on this song. That 
that was track eight, Lost. I'm not really sure what to think of that song. There were elements of it I really liked. Specifically, the guitar was so speedy. On those little parts where they stopped everything and it was just the guitar riff going, I thought those were awesome. But then those auto-tuned vocals, I don't know if I'm a big fan of them. They just didn't really match with the rest of the song, in my opinion. Moving on now to track nine, we have A Little Piece of Heaven. Just soon for me to take what's mine. I almost left myself to time. Yeah, this song is really embracing that theatricality that I talked about. It almost sounds like it could be a song from a musical or something. Alright, some harmonizing going on. Yeah, there's like this carnival quality to the sound of this one here on the verses. I know it's not your time, but bye bye. Let's make a new start. These choruses, though, are very different. There's more of a serious tone to them. Over and over. Just when I think this song is going in one direction, it just changes up on me. I love those two vocals going on there. You have those really intense ones, more in the background, and then the more melodic ones. That was track nine, A Little Piece of Heaven. Talk about variety, that one definitely brought so many different sounds to it. Kind of like a weird carnival vibe at the start, just very theatrical and Broadway-esque with its sound. But then the chorus just brought a sort of somberness and more of a serious tone to it. And then there was sort of like a demented, haunted quality toward the end there where it sounded like a wedding ceremony going on and the vocals just had like this really deep, dark quality to them. All right, moving on to the final song on this album is track 10, which is called Dear God. Again, they're changing it up completely on this one. Very acoustic start here. While I recall the words you spoke to me, God, the only thing I ask. This almost sounds like a country song. At this point, what genre is Avenged Sevenfold? I don't even know. They're definitely bringing a little bit of intensity on this one at times, but they're just keeping it way more pulled in. That was track 10, Dear God. Apparently, country music and metal music can be fused together to create a really cohesive song. It started off, like I said, very country sounding. It had that twanginess to it. But then I like how there at the end, they brought in that guitar solo and it kind of brought back a little bit more of the metal quality to this album. Well, that concludes my reaction to the self-titled album from the band Avenged Sevenfold. As someone who's never heard any music from this band before, I was definitely surprised by the overall sound 
sound of this album. I went into this reaction expecting like a really intense dark metal album, I guess. And this one was really fun, actually. They threw so many different sounds and variety on it. I would say a big standout for me was track three, Scream. That one just brought a lot of intensity to it, which I enjoyed. And surprisingly, track five, Gunslinger, was a favorite too. The beginning really threw me how it had all of that twangy kind of Western vibe going on with its sound. But then when they brought that energetic impact, it was awesome. And track seven, Brompton Cocktail, was a favorite too. The beginning and the end end with those drums I thought was just so funky, so much fun. But thank you all so much for finally introducing me to this band. I'm so glad I've checked out their music now and I definitely will have to dive more into their discography and see what other sounds they're going to embrace on their other albums. But yeah, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.